Uh, this is uh, Ryan with uh, Skyrock Vending. This is going to be my first video, so make sure you hit the like and the subscribe button to follow along for more content. Um, a little bit about myself, I'm 27, I got three kids, I got Skyr, who's seven, say hi. Hey. There you go. I got uh, Ryder, who's five, I got Weston, who's one. Um, we're going to do, kind of watch how the vending machine business grows, some cons, learn a lot on the way. Been watching videos from Chrome Vending, who's a really good vending channel, he does uh, a lot of things. From candy machines to uh, big vending machines to ATM machines, and kind of watch how he's grown over the years. And I also own a bounce house company as well, so I'll do some stuff of a bounce houses, how to clean those, and do some videos about that as well. Um, some pros and cons about that. I've been doing bounce houses for going on four years now. This is my fourth year. Whoop. Uh, that was a hard struggle to start that out with. I started out with one. I'm up to four now. I'll probably be buying maybe three or four more this year as well. Uh, expectations as far as this vending machine goes. I have a goal by the end of this year. I want to own a hundred uh, single top bubblegum machines by the end of this year. Um, I just bought my first one. And just to kind of test it to see if I like this style or how it goes. It's supposed to be here today. It's not. We got the gumballs though. So I'm going to do a quick video on the gumballs, how to handle them, what products to use to handle them, how I pass them out. Um, because the box that they come in, it's not really a really saleable box. So I'm not real happy about that. Um, so I might go with somebody else as far as the gumballs go. So I'm not super happy how this box is. Um, I'm going to tell you, you can let the dog out. So, let's see here. Um, a little bit more. I already have about six locations waiting on the gumball machines. So, everyone's saying that that's the hardest thing to do is actually get locations. Um, me, I've kind of been doing sales for a little while. I found out it's not as hard as a lot of people think it is. So, pretty much you just walk in and just just act like you would, you know, walk into somebody's house, respect their house, you know, find something that you guys might be in common with kids, you like the store, something in the store you like, or the business, some part of the business you like or you can relate to. Start on that first. Do not walk in and give an immediate sales pitch and sound like a salesman that you're pretty much trying to force them to do something. You never want to do that when you're trying to do a product of any kind or trying to get a location or any of that. Um, same way for your house. You don't want somebody entering your house and saying, hey, you should you should get this because of this. First thing you're going to do is you, you probably need to leave. Um, but if you're kind of just doing a normal conversation, be like, hey, guys, I, hey, I've got uh, this little side thing I'm doing. I'm wondering if you guys would be even interested into it. Uh, maybe you throw in 10%, mention your charity, why you're doing it. My charity is actually for the Crocodile Hunter. And the reason I'm doing that, come here, Sky. The reason I'm doing that is because of this guy right here. Um, so we were watching, come here. So we were watching the Crocodile Hunter on TV, and uh, he wanted to donate to the crocodile hunter for the animals that were on TV. And the first thing he asked for is for daddy's wallet so he could donate some money, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, see, we like to donate money, which is really, really good. But I wanted them to kind of learn how to make their own money. So, I remembered the vending machine videos and stuff like that. And this way they can learn about the product cost per unit, um, a little bit about profit percentages, stuff like that, all that fancy guru stuff. Same thing I had to learn about on how to make money, because you want to make money, not spend money, right? Yeah. Yeah. See, making money, you do what with money? You buy things? Yeah. Yeah. See, you buy cool stuff, don't you? Cool toys, fast cars, yeah. So, uh, what's cool about it is on my bounce house business, 
when I very first got my first bounce house, they were happy they got bounce house. You like bounce houses? Uh huh. Do you like vending machines more? Yeah. See, so the first time we went to a location, they got uh, some quarters. And I'm going to tell you right now, they were more excited over six dollars in quarters than they were a fifteen hundred dollar bounce house. So yeah. See, yeah, you like quarters. Why do you like money? Because you can buy a lot of stuff. See, there you go. So, and that kind of gives them a little bit of a work ethic. They like to come and help me with my bounce houses. But there's not a whole lot they can really do as far as carrying my generators or helping me with those. So this is a perfect thing. They can help handle product, fill machines, collect quarters. All that they can do except for pretty much building the machines and moving them around. So daddy has no problem with doing that as long as they want to fill the machines up and fill the stickers up and stuff like that. See, yeah. So it's kind of something we kind of do. Um, like I said, I'll go over some videos about how to get locations. I'll do some videos on some machines, stuff like that. But I figured I'd at least do a, a quick video on letting people kind of introduce ourselves and getting to know what we do and how we got started and stuff like that. So like I said, make sure you like Make sure you subscribe because we're going to have a whole lot more content come out. Um, as you can tell, a lot of mine is going to be with the family, uh, mainly with the kids, stuff like that. So that's kind of how I like to do Yay. things. Yay! So, nevertheless, like I said, I'll turn the camera around. I'm going to kind of show you guys uh, kind of what I do with the gumballs, um, how I kind of have the kids help me. They get the little step stools, which you need to go get one because you're going to have to help me. Yay! Yay! Um... So, nevertheless, you ready to get into this? Yeah. You ready to do some work? All right, yeah. go get your step stool. All right. I'm going to show you, kind of after we've done the intro, is how I handle the bubble gum. Um, and the reason I like to do that is a couple people, this is, a, I think, the right way to do it. Uh, somebody's got different ways to do it, but this is just safe handling, uh, how you should store your uh, bubble gum. Uh, like I said, it comes in a box, and this is just pretty much a normal shipping box with plastic bagging. Um, a lot of people just leave the box like that and tie the bag. I don't like to do that because you can still get bacteria and stuff when your gumballs are just sitting if they're not in a machine. So Weston, my one year old that I was talking about is gonna come over here and of course show you how to properly do it. Here in a second, here he is. So now, so come here. You can get into it too. Come here buddy, hi. <laughs> so this is my little blue-eyed blonde hair baby. He, this is Weston. He's one. And uh, let's see if we can multitask and do this. So if you want to... Can, can Ryder no, come in here? No, leave Ryder alone. So we're going to come in here. Bring your camera here. Come on in here. So like I said, we're going to show you. This is... Here's the gumballs. And like I said, the $24.95. It comes with 850 of them. I like to go with the... Uh, Hubble Bubble. I like to go with the original. Those go inside the machine. It's kind of how the display is going to look like. Um, I like to go with the one gallon Ziploc bag to hold exactly about 300 gumballs. And that way I can always have those kind of in the box somewhere and know exactly how much I have. Uh, know how many I'm going through, how many I need to order. Um, those are the gloves that I like to use. The reason that is is because uh, they're good for just about everything, and the number one thing you want to make sure is latex-free. Um, a lot of people like him, he's got a latex allergy, and so as far as handling food, I've always done that, even when I worked for fast food for a little while. Um, we always use latex-free gloves. Um, like I said, there's a Sharpie in the bag. So, yeah, go take it. Go right back there. So like I said, that's kind of how I like to do it, and then when I get the machine, which should be Wednesday, we'll do an intro, we'll do a video on how to fill the machine, how to put it together, for a lot of you that don't know how to put it together, uh, kind of do a view on how I, it's the first time I'm going to get one of these machines, so I'll kind of let you know how I like and don't likes about it. Uh, this one, I the first one I ordered, I didn't go with the cash box, I'll probably be ordering me another one here in the next probably next two weeks. I'm gonna order one with the cash box and just to sign to see the difference. 
see the pros and the cons, see if I like it, which ones I like and don't like. And then we'll do a video on that and I'll let you guys know that as well. So, like I said, all this one was just a short demonstration on how to handle that product or how to handle the gumballs. Um, I went with gumballs and the reason that is, what are you doing? What are you doing? Ah, ah. Like I said, the reason I did this video was just to kind of show people just how to the proper way to do it. Like I said, you always want to wear gloves. Um, always store your product in a tight uh, sealed bag so that way you don't get any anything getting into the product. And also, the, my big thing is, from a lot of the other videos I've seen and stuff like that, and handling food myself, you walk into the store, it's a lot nicer to walk into the store with a sealed bag as compared to, say, I'm going on to a location, and you walk in with this gigantic box, and you just set it on the floor, which you never want to do, which I've seen people do. You set it on the floor, you set it down, and you're scooping into the box with something I don't really like to do that. These bags, you can actually take a pair of scissors, you cut the corner, and they will pour right into the machine and you don't even have to touch the product at all. You don't have to scoop it. Really easy to fill a machine. And then once you kind of get done filling it, you can put, put them into another bag. Like I said, it's a $4 bag. So, it's really worth it. Like I said, I let me know in some comments below. And as always, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. Uh, leave a comment. Maybe you don't like it. Maybe something that you think would be improved. And let me know what you say below. And uh, like I said, from the Colby's, we out.